Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. We're at you on the Wednesday, 24th of May. Yawning. Just looking at this uh, gold chart here. Pretty interesting day. Um, yesterday, big long tail. Did a little visit down to the mid 50s. Back here um, at 78. Looks like we're going to make a higher high. U.S. rates have come off. Also, a big uh, sort of attorney type bar. We're up at 76 now. We're down at 68. Is this the day the dollar is going to turn? Um, kind of looks like it is. Also, dollar yen put this um, this doji in. Let's remove that. Um, through 28 is a lower low. It's pretty close here right now. So we're 37 given. Um, we're going to be trading this and trading dollar yen from the short side today. Uh, see how that goes. What else? Euro. Uh, we had entries yesterday at 30, 32. We still have those. Uh, not as strong today, but looks like we're just lining up. Looks like somebody's at 60, like 107.60. Um, why we couldn't get below that now for a while. Let's go on the four hourlies. Um, who knows? Uh, but you could probably be long euros here with a stop below 60 with the idea that some someone bigger than you are is down there buying. Uh, at least that's what the chart says. Dollar Swiss. Nobody's trading this. Retail's less long, so this could go up. But this leads us to the Euro Swiss, which is like, you know, it's like crack cocaine, I guess. Uh, once you start, you can't put it down. 97.22 actually is an interesting point. If this was any other currency pair but Euro Swiss, I would be very, very excited about this point. But um, it's Euro Swiss, so buyer beware let's take a look at the kiwi chart kiwi's raised but then the rhetoric was dovish and so kiwi got smashed down 1.25 percent let's look at the uh so we expected the you know we expected a rate hike um but then I, I haven't seen the text but maybe they're saying we're done we're pausing, we're, we're whatever we're doing. Um, five and a half is enough. Does this give you um, a little more confidence that uh, the Fed's going to do the same in June? Maybe raise and say we're done, or maybe just say we're done. Anywhere between this five and six percent for the Western world looks like this is going to be the top of the short term rate uh, cycle. So I don't know. Um, something to think about stocks we kind of botched this right we we're we we're trying to sell um, up at 30 did not get paid it was really our first stock trade of the year um, super close 27.50 now I feel really stupid about it I mean it got it close again I mean 23 wasn't super close but um, here we are, 41.65. There's nothing to do with stocks here. This could go either way. Just kind of lamenting bad execution or not getting something on. So, so I'm not. So I wouldn't be having this little pity party uh, on YouTube about not being short stocks. Uh, not that I'm massively bearish stocks. I'm not. Uh, but there's just some money to be made there. You know, 50 handles or so. Botch. Tried to sell some dollar Norway yesterday. That's how bored we were, and that's always dangerous, right? Don't trade because you're bored. We didn't get paid. Um, but up near $11 Norway looks like um, it's fade. So you see, got up to 99 Maybe we make another visit up there today. Um, dollar Norway, not for the faint-hearted. Um, and also uh, fading dollar max. Uh, 
the high yesterday was 99.766. Are we going to peak above this thing? We talked about selling between 95 and 05. Maybe today is the day to pull the trigger because if the bigger dollar complex is turning, um, dollar mex is your thoroughbred. Um, if euro dollar is the Clydesdale, uh, dollar mex is the thoroughbred. And then we've had one, two, three, four, five, six up days in something that's been going down pretty aggressively. But also keep in mind, dollar mex went from 1790 to 1930. Um, in February, so this shit can this shit can move and can be volatile, um, but we think this is probably going to turn somewhere between 95 and 05. Anyway, dollar yen's our horse today. Um, we're going to start building shorts if we get prices down below 28. Bouncing back at 42 now. Um, I guess 24 was the low yesterday. Not sure how we should do this. I think we're just going to use the daily low um, from yesterday, but I bet this, no, this is horse shit. Never mind. Um, I don't know. Some that somewhere down below 28, 26, 24 uh, will give us an indication that this thing's moving in the right direction. And then we're just going to play on the short side, play for an average on the short side. All right. That's all I got for you guys today. Good luck out there. Talk to you.